What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL Podcast, where we talk everything college football, especially HBCU football. And today, we are going to be talking about a premier kicker that Southern University has signed to this 2021 recruiting class, okay? He goes by the name of Carson Wilt. All right, he's 5'10", 175, out of Delray Park, Florida. Now, as far as rankings go, Coles, the Coles Kicking website, the website that ranks all the kickers and punters, same thing, but you get what I'm saying. They have him rated as a four-star kicker and a four-and-a-half-star punter. Okay. He has many, many accolades. accolades. <clears throat> but I'm just going to name a few. He's a two, he's two-time All-State. Okay. He's three-time All-County. He is a part of the ESPN Top 63. Okay, he is a new era prep top 50 guy, a a Lou Groza award finalist, which is awarded to the kicker of the year. He was a finalist for that. And he was also um, invited to the Florida Georgia senior game. And keep in mind, he only has six games in his senior season to work with. Six games. Dude is phenomenal with his leg, like. The way he finesses the kicks is what I love. And I'm going to tell you what I mean by that, all right? I was going to save it for later, but I want to talk about it now. He had, in six games in his senior season, he had four onside kicks recovered. Four of them. Four, okay? And you know why that's crazy? It's because, you know, teams don't really think they need that sort of thing. Like, it, like it's, it's not really going to happen until you do need it, okay? And the fact that he got four of them, in six games, I'm very happy with this signing, okay, if I'm the head coach. He is going to be the difference maker in them close games if Southern ever bees in one, which, you know, in college football most likely is going to happen more times than it's not. So big, big pickup for Southern, man. That that one stat right there sold me. Like, this, this dude is phenomenal, all right? Now, when he announced his commitment on Twitter – he said, off the camp at Go Jags. Um, he tagged the coaches. And then he said, see you in the swag. So, obviously, he's very excited. You can see he has the, the southern flag in the back. Okay, every the whole table is decked out in southern colors. Like, it's... He he went, he went all out for that. So, clearly, he's very excited to be playing HBCU ball and helping swag football as well as HBCU football as a whole get back to where it once was. Um, now, I'm going to show you his stats. Well, I'm going to tell you his stats. Y'all should be watching the highlights right, right about now, so you know I'm not playing. He had 122 points in his high school career. And his senior stats, like I said, he only played six games. His senior stats and the All-Star game is included in this because of COVID, obviously. He only had, he had, well, not only, but he had 41 points. He made a 45 yard, a 36 yard, and a 32 yard field goal. He was 32 for 33 for PATs. That's not bad at all. Okay. He had 14 touchbacks, four onside kick recoveries, as I said earlier, seven total punts, averaging 37 yards, two punts inside the 20. And two inside the five and eight yard lines. Game changing stuff right there. That is game changing. That is game changing. Most like is most coaches have good kickers and punters. Like you know you have okay kickers and punters. You know ones who get the job done. Some doesn't. Some don't have good kickers at all. Um, and then you have the upper echelon. Of kickers and punters, and I think this guy's one of them. If I'm being honest, okay. And if y'all don't believe me, let me show you this 45 yarder. Oh, that ain't enough. Okay, look at this 52 yarder.
And just in case you're not convinced yet, look at this 55 yarder. Yeah, nah, he like that. Dude is like that. All right, I'm I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, obviously it's you know a kicker does what a kicker does. It's not really much to see there, but I'm just excited to see the HBCU football in general um, coming up in a few weeks just for the simple fact that the talent the talent has gone up not just with JSU because we know what they do but with every school Alabama and m has gotten better okay Southern has gotten better a lot of these schools have gotten a lot better even Texas Southern got a dog all right and Jonathan and Jonathan Giles so bro we just can't wait to see it I can't wait to see how a Prairie View does with Jawan Pass. I can't wait to see it. It's, yo, this is going to be dope. This is going to be a dope season. Um, I feel like a few upsets are going to happen. I'm not going to say who. And I'm not going to say when. I just I just feel like it's going to happen. Um, just a lot to be excited for, okay? Hey, yo, this dude got his own website. Carson has his own website. So y'all make sure y'all go check that out. If you want to look at more of his highlights and more of his accolades, his website is called Carson CarsonWiltKicking.com. CarsonWiltKicking.com. Okay. Yo, what what prospect? How many prospects have their own website? That is genius. Number one. Um, I wish I thought of that when I was in school. Alright. So I'm 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 jealous, man. Like that's that's crazy. Alright. So y'all keep a lookout for Carson Wilt in this upcoming season. Um, I'm sure he's going to do great things for Southern. I'm pretty sure he's going to come up big when they need them. So if I'm, I'm really hoping that schools that I'm rooting for, um, like in the MEAC, I'm, you know, I'm rooting for South Carolina State because that's, that's the home state. Um, and I'm rooting for JSU in the SWAC. So hopefully, hopefully, if JSU, when JSU plays Southern, it doesn't come down to him deciding the game. Because if so, man, I I don't know how confident I'll be. Okay? Dude is amazing. But, like, you know, that's about it for him. Um, Pretty good talent. Hey, listen. Thank y'all for if y'all made it to the end of the video, man. I really appreciate it. Y'all continue to rock with my channel. Y'all continue to show me love and support. And um, I just want to let y'all know that it does not go unnoticed. And it, it is not unappreciated. Like, I, I genuinely appreciate the comments, the likes, the shares, everything. I really do. Um, I, am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. Thank y'all so much, man. I really appreciate it. CFL Podcast, I'm out. Peace.